this goal where does uh, it rank the first? first goal right oh my oh, god man. i remember wow. man this this and goal and even if some context will be helpful why this sec 2-2 equalizer is important no, this and was iconic. The, this was not the equalizer. This was the 2-1 winner. And Harry Kane scored after that and he, he made it 2-2. So, oh, yeah. we were we were actually winning. <laughs> this was this was against... Uh, this was the 92nd minute. 93rd minute or something. Oh, yeah. Salah scored. We were winning. I was watching this in a bar in San Antonio. I walked out. I'm like, done. The game is done. Everyone, the tables were being flipped. All of the beats were flowing everywhere. Oh my, oh my God, this is awesome. And then I just came down so that I can escape the rush and all of that. And then full time, it says 2-2. And I'm like, what the hell? What happened? I didn't even see Hurricane Hurricane score. <laughs> So again, I think this is this is seventeen eighteen, and I think Klopp's first full season as a manager, or the second full season. Uh, this is where uh, we went to the Champions League final and all of that. So I think this was that Salah's breakout season, uh, or the first season in Premier League where he was scoring at will. He scored like forty four goals in all competitions or something. But the control he had, and I think he was almost fouled in the box, and to lead up to it, and he just poked it uh, beyond the goalkeeper. It was amazing, amazing feeling. At that time, it was very fluky. the way klopp's team played but also we were enjoying it so much that it didn't matter what happened later on so but mm-hmm. i think this was one of those amazing i mean it still feels bad i mean for us to uh, kind of give it to harrikan harrikan also made a remark after the goal you can't give me two chances because he he actually missed a penalty in the game carry saved it mm-hmm. and then the second penalty he got is what he converted so i remember this game very vividly uh, as as i remember most of the liverpool games but yeah the fact that it it wasn't a winner sucked Ooh. So I mean, uh, I remember the goal purely because I thought it was very Messi-esque, mm-hmm. and I've never seen anyone do this in the Premier League for a really long time. Right. Uh, so I just really, I I really liked it. Um, I, I don't think it matters what ranking I put because I know the rest of the lineup. But uh, AJ, let's start with you. Take a stab. I think it was uh, one of the goals that announced like Klopp era and Salah, right? Mm-hmm. So I think it was for me. I think it was the same season where he did back to back similar goals, right? He had another one just like that in in like another. game right after it or maybe it was from some other season yeah, but yeah against napoli the season after when we won the champions league um, yeah. yeah yeah i think I, i would i would put it very high i mean i i can even put it like one or two um, but i'll leave it to open up um, okay i think we have to agree so for me because the fact that it was the what happened after the goal was such a you know downer for most of us i think i would say it's like fourth or fifth i guess uh, i wouldn't say okay. it's one or two i still have other goals in my head hopefully they turn up on your list um but yeah i think it's uh, sure. maybe maybe yeah, fourth I know what. Let's just go fifth. Fifth. Let's put it at fifth. Yeah. I love that goal. I'm I'm actually offended. Okay. <laughs> But it's All okay. Right. Yeah. Are we putting this at fifth? Yeah. This is yep. fifth. Let's go. You will love the rest of the lineup, boys. Oh shit. <laughs> Because it's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh no. I could. I remember this goal, so I put it because it was one of the late, late goals that I was hate watching, and for some reason I didn't want Liverpool to win the Carabao Cup. Uh, oh my God, wait! This is the I... only video I could find of this goal, like stupid goal. Oh, this is a pretty good goal. Leicester, right? Oh yeah. that, yeah. This, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Jota equalized in normal time, and then uh, we went to extra time. This and... was the equalizer. This, this was, was the equalizer? equalizer before the pens. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so you Jota scored the, the winning pen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This was, got it, got I mean, it. this was annoying for me because uh, this. This was the season where Liverpool did not want to win the Carabao Cup, but they were winning every die because like some random shit was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The final they did not. <laughs> so it was just uh, one of those goals that I remember very vividly because I was like, I want them to lo- lose this cup because they were doing that quadruple thing, and yep. Minamino scored in the last minute. So yeah, just, man, I think you know, Minamino was, was one of those French players. I think he was good this season, and then I think next season he was shipped out. But again, I think this this game was done. Like we were losing that game. I think uh, if I remember correctly, let's just. scored like two goals in the first two minutes or something and then this was yeah. the last roll of the dice against uh, you know uh, I think Miller crossed it uh, just found some space and then just smashed it so I mean obviously it, it was a key it, it's of key significance for us to win the cup good to go on and win the cup I think the next game was against Arsenal I remember that match very well it was a two leg semi-final against Arsenal and we won that match and then we went up went ahead mm-hmm. to the final so again going by blind rankings I really want to say the previous goal was definitely much more impactful so So again, yeah. it, this has to go fourth. Sorry, Sala, but this is fourth, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the last rest of the lineup. That's why I was very sur- I would only say this that like I was surprised with the five ranking for Salah uh-huh. because that would have been a two for me. I just yeah. leave it at that. <laughs> But uh, I mean, Abina Abina literally dug his own grave there. <laughs> But, like, no, no. 
see that part is I had high expectations, right? I was like, okay, I, I, there'll be more other girls. I did not was expecting surprises. All right. Uh, next, on to the next one, which is personally one of this player was like one of the more likable Liverpool players for me. Uh, and this goal is a beautiful goal. I don't know this if you re- remember this or not. Sturridge goal for Chelsea, eighteen nineteen season, ninety first, ninety fourth minute. If I'm not wrong, eighty nine, eighty nine, eighty minute. Sturridge just shoots from the top, edge of the box. It goes, yep. and because it's yep. Kepa, it's Kepa or someone else. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kepa, no, no. Right? Yeah. I don't think it was Kepa, right? Was it Kepa? It has yeah. to be Kepa. <laughs> It has to be. See, exactly. That's why that, that's why started short. Yeah, mm. fair. Right. See, <laughs> see, see. I see exactly why Nuraj shot yesterday because it was Kepa. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this one uh, I remember. Man, Hazard. Oh my God, the game he had that day. I think I remember uh, Allison wearing a pink jersey, and Hazard at least mm-hmm. being one on one with him twice in that game. Uh, he scored one. Yeah. Uh, the other one, Allison made a good save. Chelsea were all over us. We were experiencing prime Sari ball. I guess our season, which it was, it was yeah. our season. We were experiencing that, and then we had like we, we had some chances. It was end to end, but we did not have any clear cut chances. And the mm-hmm. fact that you know this goal was happening in the in, toward, yeah 89th minute, and uh, I remember watching this game uh, in a bar in Chicago. No one was expecting anything to happen from Sturridge. Uh, you know, he was just kind of uh, he was substituted like late in 70th or 80th minute or something. But yeah, I mean, the, the technique of the goal is amazing. The fact that he could just have that curve from the edge of the box, yeah. he just like took stock of it, and then like okay, I'm gonna shoot and shoot, and that's it. If you look at the Klopp's reaction yeah. from right after this, he was surprised. He was like, wait, where did, where did that come from? Yeah. So yeah, I this know, was I'm, amazing. For me pers- personally, I I pulled up this goal because John Duran's goal sort of like reminded me because yeah. in a similar position, mm-hmm. Duran shot to the near post and uh, <laughs> you ruined it by like saying it just just kepa just kepa. Now I don't want to rank it as high <laughs> in my head. <laughs> no. <laughs> so thanks for that. Uh, uh, no, no, but, uh, cool. This is okay. This this actually see I'm I'm kind of being uh-huh. very. I think uh, guessable, I guess. Right? This I'm still hoping there are better goals, so this goes at three. This goes at three. I would, I would put it at one, bro. Like given the list, given goals, <laughs> given what Nial put for United, I'm put this as one. Jesus Christ! I'm, I have zero expectations from Nial. <laughs> Okay, so now cool. it's fine. I still have, I still trust Nihal, so it's three. It's three. All right. Yeah. Um, Abhinav, I hope I don't disappoint you, bro. Because <laughs> what comes next is, I think, is a really good goal. <laughs> oh my God, the three-two winner against uh, the I, the celebration, the I celebration. Fermina was injured the game before. Oh my God, this is 18-19 season. Amazing, amazing yeah. goal, man. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, I think we were leading 2-0 or something, and then they came back 2-2. Uh, and then Firmino came. Firmino had his eye injury, and he was in, in his prime form. He was substituted. Um, he was he was not on the starting lineup for this game. Um, he was substituted around like 85th minute or something. He just came on and he just scored that goal. Just kind of you know dribbling through once and then just take his time and the shot the far post. Amazing, yeah. amazing goal. And, and the most amazing part about this goal is a iconic celebration. Uh, I think it became yeah. a pure you know I think it became a fad afterwards. Everyone in FIFA was doing the cele- same celebration, uh, closing his their one eye. So it, it's amazing. I think uh, this is against in the season we won the Champions League. I guess yeah, 18-19. Yeah. Yep, yep. So yep. this actually meant a lot for us to kind of get out of the yeah. group and then go forward. So where would you? I mean, there's a clear <laughs> pattern with all the Liverpool goals that I'm pulling up. Uh, they were all part of like my hate watching memory that I think I suppressed. But I clearly I, didn't. again, see these goals, I'm only remembering. So if you had asked me, again, I think this is probably the whole point of it. I guess if you had asked me to say top five goals generally, maybe yeah. Salah's goal would have come up. But that's it. And none of these goals I would have remembered to put in top five. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so that, that's, that's the reason why that, I'm expecting. Okay, there will be some other, be some other goal which, which comes up. So that's why I'm kind of going from five, four, three, two, one. So this has to go in two. This is two. Yeah, AJ. bro. <laughs> I, I, I am just I, here to. I'm, I'm just here to see what's on one. <laughs> I'm, I'm prepared to have that egg on my face. That's it. I'm prepared. <laughs> You are prepared. I will. Um, I think. I think there only has to be one. Like I said, the whole montage that I pulled up for Liverpool. As I'm looking at it myself, I realize that this is part of like a special hate watching memory that I had <laughs> repressed in my past. Because the number one is. Uh, oh my the, God! Yes, thank you. Boss. At least I really thought the they were gonna miss out on fuck, miss out on Europe, bro. Like I didn't think they'd get to Champions League that season. And oh it was. Oh, the the flu COVID season. <laughs> Yeah. No, 
it's the season after that where See? Virgin Van Dijk got injured. Oh, okay. Uh, Liverpool is struggling to finish in the Champions League. COVID seasons are where you see those posters instead of pass, instead of uh, you know uh, what do you call fans People. in the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, bro. Nothing, nothing about that season was fluke. It was just like a oh, far too much stick that people used to beat I Liverpool. Know, I, I don't know. think. Yeah. No, but this, this man. I think this, this goal just defines or epitomizes the word magic. I think it's just I was so downtrodden. I think the way we went ahead with that season, we lost like six home games. You know, you know the funny thing about uh, Klopp's home record. That I think he won like sixty-eight. Games or he didn't lose in 68 games, then lost six, and then he didn't lose in 38 games again. Those six games. He lost game, to he lost to an Aston Villa team on a random night where random things happened to like seven two, right? Like after that was away. That was away, cr- right? That was away. Oh, oh that yeah, was, that was not Anfield. Away. So that's fine, and that that was also this season. But this season is what I'm saying yeah. is again at Anfield, Klopp never loses. You usually doesn't lose. He lost to Chelsea. He lost to Everton. He lost to Fulham. He lost to random. I don't I don't know Spurs. I guess four six games in a row he just lost, and I think this was. and that's why we were so far off in our top 4 race and this was a must win situation for us every game i think the previous game we won against spurs if i'm not wrong uh, trent uh, scored 3-2 in or aston villa no, I, i guess i'm not sure trent scored in the last minute of 3-2 or 2-1 uh, injury time winners again we we basically had to win every game at this point and then the fact that 90th minute 94th minute if you just look at that head, i had literally zero hope what's going to happen i was giving up i was in my living room watching the match the way Allison runs in and I'm telling you no one can score a better header the bend he he got on his head the way he directed the ball into the far corner it's amazing it's just amazing amazing goal it's one of those one in a million things even if you kind of do the simulation again it will never ever happen just just look at it just look at the way he jumps he leaps for the ball turns his head and he just kind of directs it towards the corner oh my god it's pure ecstasy man this is amazing one of the most i don't know i don't know what else i can say apart from magic it's okay abhinav it's okay we got it chill <laughs> yeah no i think I'll, this I'll, is i'll i'll <coughs> no, I'll, I'll, i'll also give you an sentiment. alternative and also give you an alternative narrative to that i think which you'll enjoy i was sitting on my couch hoping that like liverpool will lose, draw this game so that they won't qualify for champions league i had no stake i don't think my team was qualifying or was, <laughs> was i don't know what was happening with my team at that point at pure blind hate i didn't want liverpool to go to the champions league and this goal sealed it and The funny part was, I think the last ten games of the season, I saw more Liverpool games than United games that <laughs> year because Liverpool needed to win nine out of nine to go to the Champions League or something, and they did it. This was behind a run of like insane games, and it was a really good season, which I think very underrated season for Liverpool and Klopp because I think this was the season Van Dijk went out with ACL the first yeah. like the beginning of the season, mm-hmm. and there were a lot of injuries. There was no clear options. Liverpool was playing random people, yep. and still they made it to the Champions. Which was good. Uh, it's yeah, my exactly. one, number one too. And I think the, not just this one. I didn't think we had to go and win against United. I think I remember that. I think we, United we won yeah. like two four or something. Salah last minute goal against Henderson. I remember all of those like impossible things which would normally not happen in a season. As you said, it was nine out of nine games. We had to win each and every one of them, and we actually went mm-hmm. and won that. The way Allison just jumps in, man, it, it, I still can't believe it. I have a jersey with Allison nine, ninety plus five or ninety five just to kind of commemorate this. Yep, cool. This is one. Uh, now this is one. <laughs> Yeah. You didn't disappoint. So we ranked disappoint. one. This was one. Firmino was two. Um, Sturridge was three. Sturridge was three. Sturridge uh, was three. Yeah. 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 For me, I, I didn't honestly. I thought Salah's goal was two two. My memory was short. My bad. Yeah, that was two uh, one. That's why I think in my head, Salah was num- Salah Salah was number one. Sturridge was two. Uh, sorry, Allison was two, and then Sturridge was three. But now that you told me that, like actually, Salah's goal was the go ahead goal, not the equalizer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think Allison yeah. would be number one. The, Salah's goal was still beautiful too. Oh, it's amazing. 